By the end of this video, you will have everything you need to know about Notes on your iPhone and how you can use it every single day. I've used Apple Notes for four months now and it's one of the best note-taking apps ever and it's totally free. And with that said, let's get started. If you are on iPhone, you can just search your notes already installed and here you go, simple as that. And if you're on a MacBook computer, it's pre-installed there too. And if you're on Android, then this video is not for you, but on Windows, you can actually access your notes from the web. In iCloud settings, you check off this box here so all your notes are synced across all devices. And then you log in with your Apple ID or your Windows or your Mac, and then you can use Apple Notes just as well like creating and editing and all that. So now I want to create notes and it's very easy actually. You simply click on this button right here or if you're on the Mac you can press command N but unless you already are a note taker it's so easy to say now what? And then just leave the note taking app altogether and never come back. So you need to know why you're taking notes in the first place. And there are two main reasons for doing so. First is a sacred place where you can write down everything you need to remember, every idea or insight you have for your work, or family, pretty much every thought you have looping around if you want. And then be guaranteed to never forget it because you can always look it up. And also whenever you feel frustrated, worried or confused, you can just write down your self-talk there. And that's probably the most powerful tool ever for mental health. So just associate that feeling of having something on your mind that you want to offload, you want to store in a safe place. And then you can also associate the reward of this sigh of relief that you no longer need to remember this. The other reason is that you can work in there. And for example, I made all these preparations plus for all I'm going to say all in Apple Notes. So if you switch from writing in let's say Microsoft Word or Google Docs and write here instead, you have the advantage of picking up whatever you do on the phone very easily. Thanks to that convenience, you can be super productive in work when you're out about, outside in a park, traveling, waiting in line, on flights, etc. And Apple Notes is all offline, so there is no internet required. So think of all this dead time that you have every day and multiply that for weeks and months and years and even decades and imagine how much further you can be whenever you want to achieve if you just use Apple Notes. And to make it even easier, there are actually three additional methods of creating notes. The first one is called Quick Notes. On iPhone, you can go into Settings, Control Center, and there you can add Quick Notes. And then in whatever app you are, you can just swipe up, click this button, and type whatever you want. And then whenever you finish, you just close it while being in the same app. And in the quick note settings, you can also decide when that quick note resets. Normally there's a new quick note every time you do it, but one tip I found is to put it once a day instead, because then you can get a daily note feature, because officially there aren't one, but thanks to quick notes you can do it where you can call it today's date, let's say 28th of March, and then you can jot down everything you come across that day. Daily journaling has never been easier. And on your Mac in whatever application you're in, you press both the F and key on the bottom left and Q, and then you can type whatever you want. You can also access quick notes in the bottom corner if you hover your mouse there, something you can either enable or disable right there in settings because personally I found it quite annoying. The second method is using the one and only Siri. If I say, hey Siri, start a note and write go slow to go fast, then it all does that for me. So in case I have my hands full, then it's all good from there. The third way is using widgets which you can deploy on your phone by holding any app then press the plus sign and then choose whichever of these layouts suit you. And then you can go back to specific notes or to the recent notes. Next up, there are tons of things you can do inside the notes. First of all, you can just write normally. And in terms of formatting, it's quite basic with bold, italics, underlines, strike through, three different kinds of headings, monospace, and also bold the lists. You can also create checklists and also tables. And on the computer, you can do the same with these buttons. But you can also press Command B for bold, Command I for italics, and Command U for underline. And on the phone, you have similar buttons as well. And unfortunately, you have to switch your keyboard to format and then come back. But until Apple updates this, 
I recommend you to try to format everything at once. You can also paste links normally and there's also a button here in case you want to do that instead. And also add emojis on Mac by pressing Fn and E. But aside from text, you also have images and scanning stuff and various attachments. And that's something Apple knows is one of the best at in the world, especially when it comes to scanning text. On the iPhone, you can press the camera icon and then you got four options. You can take photos as usual or select previous ones you've taken. And then if you have a physical document, you can hold the phone above and it will be imported as a picture. But even better is to scan text and then iPhone's live text feature will recognize the written text. So that's extremely useful if you're dealing with a lot of paperwork and want them on your phone instead. You can just use scan text. And on Mac there are also different ways to add images. You can do it via photos here, copy from other places, or simply drag and drop. You can also drag and drop any file, let's say this screen recording over here, and then you can simply watch it within the notes, which can definitely be useful. But here's the coolest thing, if you're on a MacBook computer, you can click right here and then your phone will automatically be ready to simply scan that text thanks to this connectivity between those devices. Oh no, wait, what, what, what does it say here? Ah, oh, okay. So if you found this video valuable so far and want to learn more about note-taking and AI and apps and productivity in general, then you can hit subscribe right here. But we're not done yet in terms of formatting. We also have this button on your phone. You got all these different pencils here. We can play around by simply writing with your finger or Apple Pencil if you have one. You even have a ruler so you can draw straight lines or an eraser to remove stuff. And through this plus icon, you can also insert text, insert various shapes, or even your signature. So if someone requests an autograph from you, you know what to do, right? And you can edit these drawings later using the lasso tool, which you can simply draw around the part you want to move, and then you can simply move around the specific part and change size and so forth. And while you cannot draw on the Mac, you can do the same thing like we did previously when we scan stuff. Use the iPhone to draw and then continue to work as normal. Okay, so now you know everything about formatting, but you might want to write something that you definitely don't want anyone else to see. And fortunately, you can lock these notes. You lock notes by clicking here on iPhone or on Mac. And then using your password or more conveniently touch ID or face ID, you can simply adjust so whenever your finger and your face come along, then it's all revealed for you, but not for everyone else. And in case those everyone else come along, you can click right here and then it's all locked again. And because it's all integrated within Apple, many people trust it so much, so they put their actual passwords in there. Or I would recommend you to use some proper password managers, like for instance Dashlane or LastPass. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way, at least not yet. Next up, you want to find information you've written before, and especially when you have a lot of notes. But either Either clicking the dots on iPhone or pressing Command F on the Mac, you can search within the note itself and then also be able to replace words just like with any other standard word processor. Of course, you can search normally using either the search bar over here or pressing Command Option F. And the search function is one of the best out there. It's super fast. You can search within notes. You can even search within images. For example, if I type tensions right here, what I will see is this picture right here, which is my wallpaper. So it's very powerful if you're dealing with a lot of images. And then normally these notes organize from latest use and when you latest modify them. But if you visit a particular note a lot, you can pin it by swiping left. And I personally pin this note for the video I'm currently working on, and also other stuff like for instance, focus and one question and so forth. And just by this search function, occasionally pinning notes, you can have a perfectly and naturally organized note-taking system, but there are also other ways to do it. Recently, Apple introduced a thing called smart folders, which are basically normal folders, but you can assign different tags to them. If you type, for instance, hashtag YouTube, then every time you tag a note with hashtag YouTube, it will automatically be added to the smart folder. And this can be useful if you only want to see certain notes related to a particular subject. And thanks to this automatic feature, you don't necessarily need to manually sort the notes, 
which is honestly not necessary at all. <laughs> but you can also create normal folders, folders within folders, create smart folders out of folders. But for some reason, we're not able to have smart folders inside smart folders. So that's it, I guess. Also, since the latest update, you can also collaborate with other people. But because it's Apple, they want everyone into their ecosystem, of course, only Apple users can collaborate. And the others, you just have to send a copy of your latest notes. But if that's not a problem for everyone, you can click the share button right here and then either send the invitation via mail, messenger, copy link, etc. And even share entire folders, but of course not locked notes because you want them private. And once other people receive the link, they can go in and edit the note. You can also see the edits that have been made and even receive notifications, although you should not have notifications on. And if you're the owner of the note or the folder called it that, you can go to these settings right here and then change permissions for other people. You can allow them to add more people or even remove all your people if they have bothered you enough at this point. Not totally unlikely. <laughs> but I also want to highlight some very good shortcuts for Mac. For example, if you want to zoom in text, you click Command Shift Period and continue to do so until limit. And then you can go back by simply typing Command Shift Comma and then you can minimize that text. And this is very useful when you're doing presentations, either for yourself or for others, recording, etc. And then you can use your computer as some kind of teleprompter if you want to make it more formal, call it that. And then you can also switch between list view or gallery view by pressing either command one for list or command two for gallery. But you can also click these buttons right here. And then you got command shift seven for converting text to this kind of bullet, command shift eight for the other kind of bullet, and command shift nine for numbered lists. And on the phone, you can tap with three fingers and then you can undo stuff. So you don't need to shake your phone to achieve the same effect. That would be quite strange in public. So as you can see, this very basic note-taking app is quite advanced now. Apple's made many improvements over the years, so much so that it's definitely outclassing most other note-taking apps. And it's free, of course. And with that said, here was everything you need to know about Apple Notes. And if there'll be updates, you'll find links in the description. And if you want to see other note-taking apps, I recently made a video where I showed nine other fantastic note-taking apps that you might truly resonate with. But nonetheless, always remember that you're the most amazing being alive.